What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're taking the road glide over to my dad's house so we can load it up and get ready for Daytona Bike Week. We're going to load my road glide up with his road glide and my mom's road glide. We're going to take all three bikes down to Daytona. Instead of having the trailer back in the trailer up in my driveway, I just figured uh, I'd hop on the bike and head over there today. It's like 46 degrees here in Michigan. Snow is melting as you can see. We still have snow on the ground. Uh, but it's definitely the nicest day we've had in a long time here in Michigan. So I'm going to take advantage of the nice weather, hop on the bike. He's going to follow me in my truck, and we're going to head over there and uh, basically do some bike prep on all three road glides before we head down to Daytona for bike week. So mine's pretty much done, air the tires up and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, everything's done. We're just going to load up and hit the road. Check out my new helmet for this year. I went with the Simpson Ghost Bandit. It's called the Pony Boy black and gold. I went with a gold mirrored shield on it. I'm going to try this helmet out this year. I used to have a Biltwell lane splitter and I like that helmet but it's about five years old now so I figured it was time to upgrade and uh, get a new helmet for the 2021 season. I like the American flag look and the black and gold. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on that helmet. Alright guys, so as you can see, we got the bike over at my dad's garage getting ready to load them up in the trailer to head down to Daytona. First thing I did was detail the bike, made sure I got all the salt and dirt off it from riding it over here um, because we're going to be putting the covers on the bikes inside the trailer while we go down there so that the dust from the wood floor doesn't come up on the paint and get them all dusty because it's an 18 hour drive for us from Michigan. So. Got it all detailed, got all three bikes detailed actually. There's my mom's over there, and then my dad's 2020 Road Glide here. And uh, if you guys are wondering, if you guys haven't been following me for a while, this is my mom's 2018 Road Glide Special with the 107 in it. And then that's my dad's 2020 with the 114, and then obviously my 19 here. But uh, we just went ahead and taped the forks and the fender where the tie down straps are going to be going through. That way they don't rub the paint raw going down there. Um, we're going to put some microfiber towels around the straps as well. Um, and I'll show you guys how we stagger them in our three place snowmobile trailer. You can see we taped up his forks and fender and same with my mom's bike. Um, also shout out to Choice Cycle, Brian at Choice Cycles. He sent me a set of numbers for my dad's bike, 33, that's his number, um, in white with a black background and silver pinstriping to match the silver on the bags and the red, white, and blue color scheme of his bike. So 
they turned out really sick, look really good on there. Oh, also, he just bought a new Saddleman seat. I'll do a review on this seat as well. He hasn't even tried it out yet. As you know, we live in Michigan and haven't been able to try it. But it is their solo seat with a backrest, so he wanted to be comfortable, still have a solo seat look. And uh, yeah, so he's gonna try this seat out down in Daytona, and I'll let you guys know how he likes it um, later on. But uh, yeah. So there's all three bikes. We're gonna get them loaded up in the trailer and I will pick the camera back up once we get them loaded up in there and show you guys the orientation on how we fit three baggers in our snowmobile trailer, our three place snowmobile trailer. Um, it's pretty tight, but the way we staggered the bikes and ended up working out, we did it the same way last year when we went down there and we had no issues there and back. So knock on wood, let's hope everything works flawlessly and smoothly and we get down to Daytona safe. So uh, yeah, I'll pick the camera back up once we get the bikes loaded up in the trailer. All right guys, so as you can see, we got all three road glides loaded up in the trailer and tied down. I'll go over with you here in just a second on how we tied them all down. But uh, there's mine there in the back. So our trailer is 23 by seven. So it's seven foot wide, 23 feet long, and it fits three baggers in here staggered, no problem. The closest they are right here in between the crash bar and the saddlebag of the second bike. Um, what we do is we tuck the first bike in up under the cabinet, up under the helmet cabinet here. And as you can see, it's pretty close, but it does fit and they are sturdy. They're not moving anywhere. And we tie the, both the front and the rear down. We run a strap through the rear wheel and tie it down here to a D-ring on all three bikes. And yeah, I mean, there's plenty of room in here. You can see how much more room the first bike has next to the second bike. And that's why we stagger them. I know a lot of guys run them side by side, front to back, but we wanted the most room in between each bike just in case there was a problem, just in case the strap broke and they fell. We didn't want them falling on top of each other. If something bad did happen, rather fix one bike than two. So that's why we went ahead and loaded them staggered. This is just how we load our snowmobiles too, except for we load them through the front door and face them out the back door. Cause this is an inline snowmobile trailer is what this is guys. It's all aluminum and it pulls really nicely it's light and like i said it's long enough to fit three full baggers so here's how we tied them down now on the road glides there's not a lot of spots you can tie these down because of the fairing you can't just hook to a handlebar and tie down so we use pingle wheel chocks and then we use this x-track it's called formerly known as e-track we drilled that into the wood floor and then we use these uh clips with d-rings and i use these rhino straps for my bike and basically we tie them around the lower fork tube just above the brake caliper and that way it's not preloading your suspension the whole way down 18 hours of compressed preload on your forks is not very good for the bike for the fork so uh, this way there's no compressed forks at all and then we went ahead and blue taped everything and used microfiber towels around the gloss black paint so that it does not scratch the straps don't scratch because if you didn't do this this would, these straps would rub against the gloss black powder coat and gloss black paint and you'd get down to Daytona and have a scratched bike. So that's how we strap them down on both sides. Real easy. Took us about two minutes per bike. So if you guys are wondering how to tie down a road glide, this is the best way to do it here. We did it this way last year when we went down to Daytona. Knock on wood, there and back, had no issues. So it's an 18 hour drive, like I said. So, and then up here, my mom's bike's kind of on an angle. And she goes up into the V of the trailer because it's a V-nose trailer. Like I mentioned, it's a snowmobile trailer. So we normally load up through the front door and then ride out the back door. But yeah, we got plenty of clearance, plenty of room. We got plenty of room for coolers, bags, luggage. I mean, we're gonna be taking my dad's Ram 1500. It's gonna tow it down there. He's got a big horn just like me with a tonneau cover. So we'll be able to put our luggage and stuff back there. But if we need more space for luggage, we have tons of room here in the trailer on the floor in between each bike and then obviously in the back too we're, we're gonna put some gas cans and just tools and toolbox and stuff just in case we need to work on these things when we're down there change out any parts we'll have the necessary tools to do so but yeah that's pretty much it guys i mean we're all loaded up we're gonna throw the covers on the bikes just so that it keeps the dust off because this is our snowmobile trailer so there's a lot of dust floating around in here because it's a wood floor and the studs rip up the wood so there's a lot of like sawdust in here so we're gonna roll down with the covers on each bike so they don't get all dusty for Daytona so yeah I just wanted to pick up the camera and show you guys our setup and obviously here's the truck we're gonna be pulling it with 
Ram 1500 with the 5.7 liter Hemi. And this truck's actually got an e-torque in it. It's got the e-torque motor in it. So, yeah. We are all loaded up and ready to head down to Daytona, Florida for Daytona Bike Week. All blacked out. Dad got the truck all looking good, all cleaned up. But that's gonna do it for today, guys. If you like the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I've got tons of content coming for you guys, especially Harley content. Like I mentioned, I'm heading down to Daytona for bike weeks, so I'm gonna try to do like a daily vlog down there. Um, I can't promise you guys that, but I will try my best to get you guys a lot of content from Daytona Bike Week. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. I'm gonna button the trailer up, head inside, and get some sleep because we got a long 18 hour drive tomorrow down to Florida from Michigan. But that's gonna do it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the sunny state of Florida on the next upload. Peace.